So, hey, y'all. Um, it's about 11.42 p.m. in the middle of the night. And, uh, went to, went out of town with my mom and went to her new office. And, um, this morning, woke up. And got a got a email from the lady from the IT program that I was supposed to be participating in. And she said, I gotten in. She said, Congratulations, you've been chosen for the IT program. It starts January 13th. So I'm in, y'all. I'm in. But, uh, I don't feel anything. Like, uh, I don't feel excited about it. I just feel like, kind of like, meh. Okay. I got in. And I should be excited because, like, it's, um, all expenses paid for and it could lead to a higher paying job, but I'm not. And I think I'm experiencing Ahadonia. Which is like when you don't experience pleasure or joy and you feel numb or a lack of interest in the activities that you used to have before. I'm not sure if it's triggered by social media. I still look at my ex's page. I'm not sure if that triggers it. That's something that I'm trying to stop doing. And it's not even like... It's not even like I'm looking at it from a third party app. I just, he liked one of my pictures a month ago and um, I still look at his page because I'm still interested not in him, but in like what he has going on in life, I guess. Like, um... Like, because we were friends, and then we started dating, and um, I still look at his stuff, and I don't think it's going to affect me when he posts certain things, but then it gets me down, um, and it affects me, like, it affects me mentally, so I'm not even excited for like my shit which is insane right these are just my thoughts y'all it's insane like um when I look at other people's shit that it feels like you they're doing so good for themselves that social media makes you compare and then the good things in your life are like reduced down to like oh it's just that like you know what I mean like oh that little thing that you're doing and this is what's in my head like my conscience is like oh that little thing you're doing it'll never compare to what so and so is doing, to what your ex is doing, to what, and I don't know what it is, because I've heard other people say this, like your ex, uh, when they break up with their ex, they compare their lives to their ex, to whether they're moving on. And um, I've been doing good, like I have been looking at his page. For like four months. And then. I just snapped back. Into it. Into looking at his page. 
Um, some people call it limerence. I don't believe in limerence. I don't believe I'm limerent. Um, some people call it limerence, but, uh, I don't believe in limerence. So, some people call it love addiction. I'm not addicted. I think I'm just, like, being nosy. Like, uh, everybody that looks at their ex's page after they've broken up to kind of see how they're living. But, um, one of the things that I do when I do that is I, I, I get really hard on myself about it. Like, I'm like, uh, like people are going to think I'm crazy. Like, um, when a lot of people do it, but like, I don't like it because it like gives me the ick. Like when I look at his page, it gives me the ick and I don't like that feeling, but, um, it's like, I can't help it for some reason. Um, yeah, y'all, I don't know. I'm just talking. But, um, yeah, I just, when I look at my accomplishments, I used to say celebrate the small wins, but, um, and I still like to celebrate the small wins, but when I celebrate my small wins, I, like, have this journal that is like, um, I have this, uh, canvas, this blank canvas on Canva where I add all of my accomplishments to the page and then I'm going to print them out at the end of the year. So that I could see all the accomplishments for the year. But uh, it's just not registering for me. And I think it's because I'm comparing myself. I think that's what I'm going to call this episode. Is comparing limerence and what's the other one. I, I'll have to go back and look at it. But um, yeah, I just don't feel excited and I think I don't feel excited because I'm comparing myself and then I think part of it is like my antipsychotics but I think part of it is like me reacting to what my ex is posting and um if you if you ever like break up with somebody just like take a break from social media for a while like just when you ever break up just be like I'm gonna take a break from social media so I don't have to see or I won't be tempted to look because for some reason I'm tempted to look and it hasn't been good on my mental health and like the crazy thing is is like I don't even like this person anymore like it doesn't even mean That I haven't moved on because I have moved on. It's just like me being like, it's it's like I have OCD. So like checking social media is like a compulsion to me. So like I'll check social media. I'll check my ex's social media page to feel better. But then I'll end up feeling like worse off like shit um but anyway that's all I wanted to talk about today and thanks for listening